My guy. Man, we out here. Can you hear me good? Yeah, I can hear you. There it is. Look, man. I said, look, I wanted to make sure that we get it in a little impromptu drink. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Not playing any games. It's yeah. false for the people. You know what I'm saying? They need to be coming to the boot camp. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Look, I... I had some stuff that I wanted to talk about real quick. I know we were talking about, you know what I'm saying, as far as the boot camp, and I wanted to make sure I'm always giving some sort of game. Myself, I just got to Maryland out here about to drop my daughter off. I said, yo, let me talk to my guy. Let's yeah. talk to the people. Let's give some game out here in these streets. I got my, my, my phone on do not disturb, not <laughs> playing any games. You know what I'm saying? But one of the things I want to talk about today, though, you let me know how it's going to flow, but this is how I do. You know what I'm saying? One of the things I was thinking about is 15 reasons why it's not working. Whether it's your content, mm. you know, whether it's your, your brand, whether it's your course, your program, your workshop, 15 reasons why it's not working. I just want to talk to them. You know what I'm saying? For those who don't know me, I'm Jose Black Dude with a Spanish name, a.k.a. The Course Whisperer, a.k.a. Idris Elbow, a.k.a. Mini Morris Chestnut, a.k.a. <laughs> we ain't playing no games out here in these streets today, dog. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real. But nah, 15, 15. No, you got something for the people before we get into this? No, no, go, go. You already started. Oh. You're going crazy. Look, look, we ain't playing no games. So I always talk about this. And the main reason I broke down these 15 for real, for real, because people were like, yo, I just want five steps. I'm like, nah, we doing this thing for real, for real, in regards to impact and income. What's the level of transformation we bringing out to this space, right? So the first thing I always say, number one, reason why it's not working. Number one, you haven't created success for anybody else. Mm. You haven't created success for anybody else. I have a new uh, program coming out called the Quantifiable Results Code or the QR Code, right? Mm -hmm. And the biggest thing is a lot of times people are trying to put out programs or put out a workshop or have an event or do something, yet at the same time they haven't done any success for anybody else. Yes. Anytime people come to me, they're like, Jose, I heard you be killing the core space. And I'll be like, yeah, no, nah, that's what I do. That's what I do. But one of the things I always ask a master that is, how many people have you helped? That's the first mm -hmm question so it's a lot of times as people out here so yo i made six figures myself or i made seven figures myself and what happens is they try to create a course a program a workshop about that and i applaud you for that but yeah. then i ask you how many people have you helped and the reason why we ask how many people have you helped is because first and foremost you're selling to other people so if you're going to yeah. sell to other people why not help other people the second thing that i look at is because there's a trajectory or a line or a path that you took to get your level of success. And again, I applaud you for that thing. But the same thing is what happens is somebody who's going to take your program, they're not going to go through that exact same path as you. Mm -hmm. And so what happens is you'll have students, you'll have mentees, you have people that you've trained, right? And what happens is they're going to go through different problems that you never went through. Yeah, They're going to go through different stuff that you've never seen before. You'll be a, a good coach and you'll be able to help them out. But at the same time, if you haven't went through it, you're not going to put it in your program. You're not going to add it to your event. You're not going to put it in your ebook. You're not going to put it in your workshop, right? Because you ain't went through it. But your students have went through it. And now you're like, yo, oh, I got to do that. So the first thing, off of the break, you know what I'm saying, is have you created success for somebody else? If you have it today, you can put up in your stories and be like, look, I'm planning on putting a workshop about making making tea bags, or I'm planning on doing a workshop. Whatever that thing is that you do, you can put it out to the people right now, like, yo, I'm trying to do a free training. I'm trying to do a free workshop about this. One yes. thing it's going to do is give you a, a level of credibility. It's going to be other people going to be like, yo, I didn't even know you did that, right? Yes. So what happens is those people will join in. You teach them either for free or a low fee. Get those quantifiable results. Each one of those persons represent 100 people. Each one of those purposes, persons represent 1,000 people, and their pain, their problem. We got to keep going. I got 14 more. <laughs> I'm trying to go heavy on the on the first one, and I got 14 more to go, for real, for real. Uh, you got anything on that, though? I mean, no, no, you got it. <laughs> I love it. Yo, I love it. I'm just listening. All right, bet, bet, bet. Number two, number two. So the first one again is, have you created success for somebody else? This is the reason why it's not working. Number two, why it's not working. You don't understand what goes into what you do or what you want to do. I think a lot of people, People will see somebody on social media and like, yo, I see them. They in their private jets. I see, I see Dante in the Bentley. I see all these different things. I see all these things going on, but at the same time, they don't know what went on behind the scenes. They don't know what took. Look, I even go back to the spiritual boy. They don't even know what, what went down in the prayer closet. They don't know as 
as far as that the fundamentals, the pains that went through in that thing. They think, oh, it looked easy. And that's the thing about it. Jordan, he put out a commercial and said, I'm sorry I made this thing look easy. My apologies for making this thing look easy. And the thing about it, a lot of times your favorite influencers, your favorite teachers, your favorite instructors, your favorite people who you see on social media, they make it look easy. Why? Because they got 5, 10, 20 years in. And you looking at this, you did it for five days or you did it for five weeks or you even did it for five months. And you like, yo, it's not working. You got a small litmus test. You not you don't know what goes into that space. This is one of the, the second reason why it's not working in this space. All right, let's go to number three. Let's number three. Number three. You in the wrong lane. You in the wrong lane. I just I'm in my car right now. You know what I'm saying? I seen actually I seen a couple of uh, accidents today, and I'm like, yo, this is crazy. Why? Because people, anybody who live in Atlanta, y'all already know the way you try to merge to get off of the off the uh, off that exit or whatever. I seen a dude try to get over, and some said, boom, fishtailed the other car. I was like, dang, I want to stop for him, but I gotta, you know what I'm saying? God forgive me, I pray for them. But what happens is when you're in the wrong lane, that's what happens. You fishtail or you 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 cut somebody off. What happens is you don't have your your gifts, and I always say your gifts is what comes easy for you, but harder for most. Your gifts is what comes easy for you and what harder for most. Your passion is what you want to do. You'll do that thing for free, right? And then you have your trainings or your core competencies. But what happens is your gifts is what God wants you to do. Your passions is what you want to do. And when we get them things in alignment, now we talk about our purpose. And a lot of times people don't have that thing in alignment. They don't, they're in the wrong lane. They just like, yo, I don't know what my gifts are. Or I know what my gifts are, but I don't know what my passions are. Or I know what my passions are, I don't know what my gifts are. Am I ever been trained in this thing? And so what happens is you're in the wrong lane. And that thing, now you're trying to move forward, but you're in the wrong lane. And so what happens is now you're not getting no success. That's why it's not working. And it's so simple. We're going to align our gifts. We're going to align our, our passions. We're going to align our trainings. And then now we're talking about our purpose. Because, I mean, when we figure out what our purpose is, woo that thing go crazy. Speaking of trainers, number four, you ain't got no trainers or core competencies. You took a webinar or you was at, a, at a, an event. And you're like, oh, yeah, I'm ready to do this thing. But most of the people who are successful in the space, they got into the trenches. They learned it. They invested. Not even just invested their, their money. They invested their time. They invested their resources, right? They put forth as far as that investment. They put forth as far as that time investment, that elbow grease. They went into that thing, and they got the core. And a lot of times, most people are overlooking not just the things I might be certified in. You got on-the-job training. Some of y'all, we in that nine-to-five space. What can I do in this nine-to-five space to move it over to my entrepreneurial space? What can I do that I learned in college that I could take it to me in that entrepreneurial space? What is that thing even in high school? What did I learn over my relationships? These core competencies that you're not that you're overlooking this in your hand. A lot of times we in that space, it's in our hand, but we ain't trying to give it to the people. I want to keep it moving. Ah, oh, you ain't got no trainers or no core competencies. Next one, you don't meet a specific need. Why it's not working? You don't meet a specific need, bruh. Man, and I think I talk about it later. You don't know who you're talking to. But I don't know about y'all. I got a black mama. And my mama used to be like, my government name is Joseph. She'd be like, but the, the, the nickname was Joey. And she'd be like, Joey. And I'd be like, what? Y'all already know a black mama. She ain't playing those games. And she'd be like, who are you talking to? And, I, you know, I'd be like, like nobody. You know what I'm saying? Or you hit the, the uh, keep sweat, nobody. You know what I'm saying? You hit that joint. But that's the thing about it. When we don't know who we're talking to, we ain't talking to nobody. If we don't meet that specific need, we're not talking to anybody, right? I talk about it even what we was talking about earlier today. I get headaches all the time. But if I could, I, the leave ain't going to work. You know what I'm saying? The Tylenol ain't going to work. I need that Excedrin. That Excedrin for the headache. But when my knee hurt, the Excedrin don't work. You don't meet the specific need in regards to the market. You're not meeting that specific need as far as to the person that you're talking to. We're going to keep it going. Last, oh, the next one is you failure to establish a brand. We talk about why it's not working. For those who just got here, again, I'm Jose. That's my guy, Dante. We on here. We're not playing any games. First and foremost, let's do a recap. Recap. We're going fast. We're going fast. I hope y'all taking notes. But the first one is you haven't, you haven't created success for anybody else. 
You know what I'm saying? Y'all already know you haven't created success for anybody else. Number two, you underestimating what goes into what you do or what you want to do. Number three, um, you're in the wrong lane. You ain't in alignment with your gifts, your passions, and your trainings. Number four is no trainings or core competencies in that thing. Number number five is you don't um, you don't meet a specific need. And then last, well, next one is your failure to establish a brand. Everybody know me. I do two things very well. I do personal branding and I do courses. I do personal branding and I do courses. And one thing about a brand that need, people need to truly understand is that the brand does the heavy lifting. The brand is what writes the check. What is that feeling, that emotional response that people will have towards you when they see you? They see your colors. They see your logo. They see all these different things that encompasses you. What is that emotional response? What is that thing? And that thing, again, it does all of the heavy lifting. I always tell the story real quick when I got my first house built. I'm going to try to go through this quick. When I got my first house built, you saw the land. And he was like, yo, and this is, you saw the vision, right? And you saw the land. You go out there taking pictures. You're like, yo, this is my first house. Ah. And then what happens is, what do they do? The first thing they do is they break ground and they dig a hole. So they dig that hole. They lay the foundation, they waterproof it, they put the piping in there, do the electricity up and everything, and that probably take one, two, three months. Then what they do, they seal it off. They seal it off, so the thing about it is still level. And the crazy part is if somebody was driving by it, they'd be like, oh, they ain't even did anything. I didn't put three, three months in or four months in or five months in, but I drive by it and it looked like I haven't done anything. That's the thing about it. The foundation is your brand. They don't know all the things that you put into the brand. They don't know as far as the waterproof and the most structural part of the house, which is the foundation. They don't know all the time that went into building that thing out. And if somebody drive by, they just look like, oh, they ain't done nothing. And the crazy part is once I got the brand established or the foundation established, I could put a house on there. It could have a garage. I could turn it into an office. I could have five windows if I wanted. I could paint the house white. I could make it more colonial style. I could make it more uh, more modernized. I could make it an office building. But what does not change? The foundation. That foundation does not change. And because you failure to establish a brand, you ain't got no foundation. We don't got that emotion response that people are supposed to feel when they come to you. So again, failure to establish a brand. That's why it's not that's why it's not working. <laughs> Dante, you're gonna like this one, baby. You're gonna like this next one. The next one and is the next one is failure to oh no, the lack of quality content. Lord Jesus, I don't know. Y'all can say out your amen. But look, it's the failure to have quality content. And the quality, here's the thing about it. Everybody like, yo, I gotta get a, a DSLR. Oh, I got to get this high production camera. I got to get my lights right. I got to get my mic. And don't get me wrong. That all plays a part. But at the same time, quality doesn't have nothing to do with as far as the look. Quality has to do with what do you give it to the people? Is it educational? Is it entertaining? Is it inspirational? We fail to have quality content. We think we're just going to sit up there and dance a point. And there's nothing wrong with dancing and pointing. But are, is there going to be some sort of impact or transformation? I apologize for being so hyped. Let me slow it down. Let me slow it down. Down just a little bit for those people in the back. You know what I'm saying? We 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 the, the failure to have that 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 quality content. What happens is now we're in a space that we're like, yo, I just want to create something. Oh, I gotta. They say I gotta post once a day, or I gotta post two times a day. And what happens is we're trying to go after the quantity versus the quality. Are you entertaining the people? Are you being educational in the space? Is it a level of inspiration? Is it going to create some sort of a movement or change within them? The failure to create quality content. All right, next one. Next one. You don't attract outside resources. Why well, it's not working? We're going through 15 of these, y'all. You don't attract outside resources. Other than, in other words, you don't look attractive. You don't look attractive. My coach used to always say, and everybody has used it. If you see somebody on the side of the road and they got their 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 uh what's that their their um the trunk I mean not the trunk but the um the hood up and it's smoking and they probably on the side with their thumb out everybody going to fly back. But if they see you pushing it, they see you put forth as far as that effort, people are going to pull over. Some people don't even see y'all moving in your own space. Some people don't even see you pushing your own car. Some people don't even see you pushing your own brand or your own product yet at the same time you say, yo, you need to help me. You ain't attractive. You ugly. Come on now. For real? That's what we doing? We talk about why it's not working. Look, <laughs> look, these ain't that we had. We had the almost yo, the halfway mark. Yo, we had the <laughs> yo, you didn't come to play, man. Yo, look. First of all, 
Jose, first of all, like you've been honest, honest. And everybody that's listening, you don't leave, stay and listen, because he's being honest. See, yeah, that's what yeah, you yeah, need. Yeah. Like, everybody ain't being honest. Yeah. Every single one of the people I asked to come to this event to pull into you are honest. And he, Jose showing you right now. Keep going. Keep yeah, going. let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So the next one, you failure to secure the bag. Failure to secure the bag. And a lot of times, right, I always say, this year we're doing for free or for fee. But y'all discounting it. Y'all, y'all, here's what they always say. We, we will show up and serve with our service, but not with our price. I'm going to let that one simmer a little bit on the stove or whatever. I don't know how to cook, but we're going to let that one simmer. And a lot of times we're trying to serve our people, and I get it. We try and get the clientele. We're trying to make sure they take it care of. But we serve at a high level with our service and not with our price. A lot of us are discounting. A lot of us are saying, all right, let me, let me take it down or what have you. You failure to secure the bag. And then it's a lot of us ain't getting the bag because you don't even believe in the product and service you got anyway. You're like, ah, uh, well, let me let me just do, no, fee or free. We ain't doing no in-between, right? So failure to secure the bag and people ain't signing off on the check or, or they not paying that invoice. Why? Because you don't even believe it. And once you believe it, I promise you, look, look uh, oh. once you believe it, there's a level of uh, competence or confidence that comes with it. And then you get competence with it. And people are like, yo, oh, that boy believe it. Why? Because I believe it. I believe it first. So again, failure to secure the bag. All right, this my this my favorite one. <laughs> the reason why it's not working, we're going through 15 of them. We're going through 15 of them. You out there chasing waterfalls. Huh? If y'all don't stick to the rivers and the lakes that you used to, I promise you, you out there chasing waterfalls. Yo, I call it entrepreneurial groupie them. You see everything. Everybody doing something again. Going back to, I'm probably, I promise you, I'm sorry, I made it look easy. Oh, I could do courses. Oh, I could do as far as the content. Oh, I could do taxes. Oh, I could do fitness, physical fitness. Oh, I could do credit repair. Oh, I could sell cars. I could do Toro. I could do Airbnb. You chasing waterfalls? Stick to the rivers and the lakes that you used to. You try one, then you try the other because it didn't work. Yo, the starting and stopping is not gonna work. The starting and stop. No, stick to one thing. Put your all into it. Yes, you're gonna have different failures. Yo, y'all be bad. Yo, buy my guy some badges, yo, for real. Let, let that junk go or share it with somebody or hit something in the chat. Whatever it is, just put that joint. If we if we're making sure we give you any type of value, look, I don't come to play. I don't even talk about my resume, dog. All I do is like I'm gonna give value and value and value. And if you get something out of it, hopefully you got that. Shout out, shout out for the emojis and the fire flames coming up. You know what I'm saying? People out here chasing water. Waterfalls. What uh what TLC say, TLC say? You know what I'm saying? Bruh, it's crazy. All right, so we got the chase of waterfalls. And that goes into the next one. You keep starting over. You keep starting over. That is reasons what you're starting over for. Maybe again the lack of confidence. Maybe it's the lack of funding. Maybe it's the lack of participation. Or whatever. You keep starting over. But if you promise you, if you ask anybody who is successful, they're gonna tell you. Within the first year, within the first three, within the first five, someone within the first ten, they like, yo, this thing is not working. But they, what they do, they stuck with it. You keep starting over, and of course we're gonna start over. And then you now we got a distrust. I don't trust you. Can you imagine me getting into a relationship and then I'm doing these certain things and then I stop? And they're like, oh no, no, I was playing, baby girl. Let me let me start back. I was rubbing her feet or I was coming in at nine o'clock or I was buying you flowers or I was doing this what I was supposed to be doing. But then I stopped doing that thing and then I try to do it again. It's a level of mistrust. Stop starting over. Everything that we do is a relationship. Everything we do in regards to content and branding and entrepreneurship is a relationship as far as with the client. The same thing that you would do in a, in a, in a, in a loving relationship is the same thing you're going to do in an entrepreneurial relationship. Why it's not working? Let me do a recap for all my new people. Again, I'm Jose, black dude with a Spanish name. We got my guy Dante, the king of content, out in these streets, not playing any games. Look, first and foremost, why it's not working? Again, you haven't created success for anybody. Next, underestimating what goes into what you do or what you want to do. Number three, you're in the wrong lane. You're in the wrong lane. Your gifts, your passions, and your competencies are not lining up. Number four, you, you don't have no training or competencies in it. Next one, you don't meet a specific need. The other one after that is failure to establish 
establish a brand. Failure to establish a brand. Next one after that is uh, lack of quality content. Lack of quality content. Number one, no, I don't even know the numbers. Uh, that's how we go. Um, for, uh, failure to attract outside resources. You ugly. And that's talking about physically ugly. We're talking about your brand, your product, your service is ugly, and people don't want to stand behind you. Here's the thing about it real quick, real quick, just on that one. It might not be for you to be the one who needs to be on the front with the product or service. Maybe you need to jump on a team and help push that brand forward. I always ask the question, sometimes, do you want to be a CEO of a $5 million company or a high-level manager in Facebook making a billion dollars? But nobody knows you. You know what I'm saying? Some people say, yo, I want to be the face. Cool. But maybe it is that person who's behind the scenes. Look, I'm the two-man for a lot of big brands. You ain't got to see my face. For real, for real. My bank account says something else. But again, maybe it's a space where you ain't got to be the one who's going to be on the front. Maybe it's the one you're pushing. Again, out, lack of outside resources. Next one, failure to secure the bag. You don't believe in your own product, so you ain't charging. The other one is that one. After that is chasing waterfalls. Stick to the rivers and the lakes that you used to. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba, ba -da -ba. You keep starting over. That's the one after that. Then we got the underestimating the power of no. <sighs> You underestimating the power of no. Let's say it like this. It is easier to reverse a no than it is to reverse a yes. It is easier to reverse a no than it is to reverse a yes. If I tell somebody yes and then it's like, oh, no, then oh, I don't rock with you no more. I can't rock with you no more. Versus I say no, and then I find out later that, oh, I can. They be like, oh, really? Okay, let's go. Let me send that invoice off. And a lot of times people are in a space where they're saying, yes, yes, yes. And then they can't live up. They don't have the bandwidth. They're not doing this. They're not secure what they said they were going to do when they said they was going to do it. So what happens is it's easier for me to say no because I don't have the bandwidth. It's easier for me to say no because I need to hand you off to somebody else. It's easy for me to say no because I can send you off as a referral versus me saying yes, and then I can't do it. You're underestimating the power of no. And then here's the thing about it. When you say no, there's a lot of respect to come with that thing. Oh, he don't need me? Oh, she don't need me? 100%. Ooh, I, I want to work harder to become their client. I want to work harder to, to work with them because they told me no. I feel like I've been denied or rejected. Okay, they're underestimating the power of no. Next one, next one, next one is um not underestimating what's not in your wheelhouse. Not in your wheelhouse. Always. They say you can't subvert, you can't serve and survive at the same time. You can't, mm. can't serve and survive at the same time. And what happens is a lot of us are in survival mode. And in survival mode, I learned this one from my partner Nikki. I was like, yo, I want to take every client. I want to help everybody. But what happens is, what ha you can't, you can't serve them, right? Mm. And then it's not in my wheelhouse. Some of the things that you do, your area expertise, you like, yeah, I could do that too. Oh yeah, I could build out their website. Yeah, I could uh I could do their content, I could do their social media, I could shoot their content, I could do their podcast, I could do all these different things, but that's not in your specific wheelhouse. And then when you drop the ball, now you look at crazy. Versus then you say, you know what? That ain't what I do. Let me refer you yeah. off. Here's the crazy part is if somebody comes to me and they ask me to do something and I refer them to Dante what happens is they like they respect it and then when it is something that's in my wheelhouse they're going to come back and be like yo I appreciate you looking out for me versus yes. you trying to you trying to survive and you can't yes. serve and survive at the same time the only time you're able to survive truly is when you're in thrive mode I'm in the mm -hmm. space where I'm able to serve a lot of people why because I'm thriving why because I've planted different seeds and a lot of y'all in this space where you're like you know what yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to do it, but it's not. that's not really in my wheelhouse. I can't do it. I remember when I used to shoot photos, dog. I was like, yo, I ain't shooting babies. I ain't doing parties. I ain't doing, you know what I'm saying? But Back. if a check was coming and I was hurting, I might have took it. But then the Yeah, and, then, and, and, and we all did it. We all did that. And it was just, right. it didn't work. It didn't work because that ain't your specialty. You know yep. what I'm yep. saying? That oh, but, but can I tell you something? You killing them. Like, if y'all listening and y'all hear what he's saying and he's telling the truth, and, and this is the crazy thing, he coming to teach different at the boot camp. Yeah. Yep. 
Well, we got some fire for the boot camp. Woo, we got some fire for the boot camp. Look, I hope people just taking notes. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I hope you're taking notes. All right, so again, you underestimating what's not in your uh, in your wheelhouse. The next one is you're not consistent. We already know consistency is the key. Here's the thing. I don't even yeah. want to say consistent. I want to say discipline. Because yeah. you can be consistent at creating excuses. And I always say excuses is just a sophisticated lie. So who are you lying to? Me, you, or both of us? Right? So what happens is you're not consistent. Well, you're consistent, but you're not disciplined. And discipline means it has to hurt. Right? You don't want like, to I'm do this thing, but now. you know what? I'm at the gym That's now. what I'm, I'm saying. That's discipline right there. When you're going in there and you lifting, that thing hurts. It has to hurt because on the other side of that hurt is going to be your greatness. On the other side of that hurt is, is the lure of prosperity. On the other side of that hurt is your purpose. And a lot of times we're in that space where we're not disciplined or consistent, right? In the space where because here's the thing about it. When I'm not disciplined then we start losing muscles. You know what I'm saying? We get extra regular. Shout out to my extra regular folk. Look, here's the thing about it. God said he don't like us when we lukewarm. So when I go to the when I go to the beach this summer, I gotta either be skinny or I gotta be fat. That's extra regular dudes don't get no love out there. No, I gotta be skinny or fat. You know what I'm saying? Yo, they say they say in the gym, right? So if you don't go work out, let's say you start working out and you stop working out for three weeks, then your body start losing the muscle that you started yep. gaining because of the uh uh glucamine, glucamine. How you say yep. the word? It start it, your body start using it instead of storing it. Yep, all day, brother, all day. So we ain't got that consistency or that that discipline. And last and last, why it's not working? You don't stand out. You look, look like everybody else. So I know. Again, you know what I'm saying. I'm in this search for my wife. You know what I'm saying. I know when I go <laughs> to the church because I'm a find at the church or I'm a find at the grocery store, or whatever. You know what I'm saying. I ain't gonna find in the club. But I gotta when I go there, I gotta make sure I'm smelling good. I gotta make sure that I'm lined up. I gotta make sure I got the game. I got the charisma. I gotta make sure that when I show up, that I'm different from everybody else. Why? Because otherwise, I'm looking like everybody else. How are you gonna be different in your space? Here's the thing about it. When I teach this, a lot of times I talk about looking up the word gimmick, right? And a lot of times when we talk about gimmick, we think of it in a negative space. But if you look it up, it says a trick or device used to gain popularity, notoriety, and business. So it says a trick or device. So we take off the trick. It means a device used to gain popularity. Dog, I see you. You'll have your crown on. Oh, I see you. You're in your throne. Why? Because the king of content. You see me? I got the black hat with no. Yeah. You're going to see me in black and red all the time. Why? Because I stand out. Why? Because I have a gimmick. When I show up, also how I speak, that's a gimmick. I'm going to bring a specific. Specific thing because I understand my brand and my personal brand. So when I show up and in, in whether it's on the stage, and here's the crazy part about a gimmick though, or in regards to standing out, whether it's on on the live, whether it's on the camera, whether I'm with my family, I'm the exact same person. I can show up in the church just like this. I might not have my hat on. You know what I'm saying? I can show up <laughs> in the, the business meeting just like this. How are you going to stand out? So I'm gonna just go through all 15 of them again. Why it's not working? Again, I'm Jose. If you're new here, yo, Jose, black dude with a Spanish name, got my guy Dante, the king of content. We have the content boot camp, the content boot camp. Give him the dates, bro. Give him the dates. Yo, the boot camp is literally in 13 days, February 24th to the 26th in Atlanta, Georgia, and it's in person. Come on now, some of you wouldn't want to be around Jose. He give game nonstop, nonstop. Look. We go out to eat. I gotta shut up and listen. We got so many dope people And all of the people Are the people behind the people you love Yep mm. Yep mm. And they don't understand that And, and what, what I want for real for even before I go through the list It's a lot of people who you, You've been probably hurt You probably went to other events And you have your, your notebook or what have you And you probably didn't execute on it yeah. You probably had have, as far as notes in your phone and you didn't move on and you feel a certain way it's subconscious you're like yo i ain't getting nothing out of this event well here's the thing about it we're going to change that mindset because when you show up to this event you're going to take away literally if you go to an event and you take away one gym and you make one connection that's you already won but this one you're going to get 15 specific gems for you they like okay i'm gonna implement though i'm gonna implement on one or two that's 
the thing. The reason why I gave as far as this list is because a lot of times you probably go into these major events and don't get me wrong. They're probably teaching about stocks. They're probably teaching about uh, credit. They probably teach it about taxes. They probably teach it about fitness. They probably teach it about nutrition. And you like, no, I don't even know which one. Oh my God. I want to do all of them. They just, yo, you at a buffet. Well, here's the thing about it. It's a reason why Ruth Chris costs more than Old Country Buffet or Go to Corral. There's a yeah. specific thing where you're going there. You're going there, you get steak. Or shout out to my vegan people. I used to be trans vegan for four years. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my, maybe you go to a vegan restaurant, you're going there for a specific thing. He had the content boot camp. Yo, you got a specific thing. So I need y'all to get y'all your tickets. Matter of fact, y'all need to be commenting boot camp as far as in this yeah. right now, for real, for real. Yeah, and it don't matter game. where like, you for real, at. For real. It don't matter where yeah. you at. Get on the flight. Last minute, it don't matter. Get in the room because first of all, we got Jose in the room, and he's gonna teach you deeper than just course creation. But he's gonna teach you how to get the framework and how to make yeah. sure it actually connect and resonate. Because you can do a course and then ain't nobody getting it. Ain't nobody. Oh my getting god. It. Ain't no. Yo, just because you say you got a course don't mean that somebody right. gonna get it. Then you got, we got Nikki in the building. She gonna yep. be talking about content and AI, using content with AI. She going deep. You got me, of course, talking about impactful content. You got Runway Billionaire talking about <clears throat> ticket products. Then you got Raquel Russell talking about traffic. Then you got Sierra talking about copy. And how yes. copy, not just talking, showing y'all how to implement it, right? And then you got, man, we got so many people. We got Marcus Rosier. Getting deep in funnels, getting deep Nasty. in funnels. Then we got Elijah Bowie talking about hot chicken and your offers and making sure you get them right. <clears throat> then we got Candace Holyfield talking about community, going deep, showing you how she got a seven figure community. She's teaching you how she was able in the framework and how to keep the people right. Then you got Gabby talking about systems and automation. Then you got Sabetha who did uh, six figures in one day on TikTok. <clears throat> and then you got Destiny inspires teaching you about confidence. Oh, she gonna and get it them right. Aaron Taylor teaching you about webinars. Come on now, I I, I can't make this up. I, I, I can't <laughs> make this up. So, look, hey, this is the impromptu joint, dog. We're gonna do another one too. We gonna look. You know me. I'm gonna give it all away. I'm Kobe. I'm gonna leave yeah. it right on the court. You know what I'm saying? Think about it, Jose. Every single one of y'all, every person at this event, gives. That's why. Yep. I, that's why I personally asked everybody. Every, nobody didn't even know who else was on the thing. I reached out, hey, I'm doing this event. Everybody, yes, 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 yes. Nobody knew who was all on the event until the flyer drop. Yeah. Yeah. So, and yeah. I just respect everybody because they said they're going to come. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Like, I asked, I asked for them to give to y'all. I said, we ain't having that motivational stuff. Give them the work. Everybody said, yep. Yep, I'm coming. That's what I do. Yep. So you got to understand the caliber of people. And this is an intimate setting, so you really can build with everybody. Yep. They ain't just going to be on no stage, Jose. He's going to be roaming. Everybody's oh. roaming. You're going to catch all of them in the hallways, giving game. Just when you stop them, don't just ask for pictures. When you stop yeah. them, ask for whatever that big thing that you've been waiting to ask them for. Because these yeah. are yeah, 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 yeah. people that have been building people. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I ain't seen no event like this, Jose. I'm just being honest. I'm hey, being honest. I look, ain't seen it I'll, yet. Yeah, this is all about to be special. I don't even want to go through um as far as the list again. If you missed it, you missed it. I mean, hey. Yeah. What I do want to say, though, for real, for real, is somebody out here right now who might be listening to this live, and you know it was something that you were supposed to do, but you didn't do it. Maybe yeah. it was you said you were going to start that podcast at the beginning of the year. You still ain't doing it. You said you was going to write that ebook. You said that you were gonna create that content you said you was gonna show up and do lives every day you ain't did one live you said you was gonna read that book matter of fact we could go to another level because again i say i am the brand that is the totality of who you are you said you're gonna reach out to that family member who you probably got a strange relationship with you said you was gonna do something yet you did not do it again it's still that still small voice whether you call it the universe you call it the holy spirit you call it your conscience whatever that is that you know you're supposed to be doing it yet you still have not done it and again i ask you why are you making an excuse again the excuse is just a sophisticated lie so what i ask is today 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 
Today, we're going to make the move. Today, we're going to take that first step. Today, we're going to execute on what we said we was going to do and stop playing as far as the level of procrastination or, in other words, I got to wait for it to be perfect. Yeah. I got to wait for it to be this. No, I'll, my name of my company, my call line is called Do It Ugly. Reason why we do it ugly, because we're removing all of the excuses. We do it ugly and that thing becomes pretty. Mm -hmm. People are, are stop stop creating these excuses and it's like okay the excuses like yo who are you lying to me you or both of us and a lot of times you lie to yourself in the mirror so all i ask and what i challenge as far as the people who are listening right now that thing you said you was going to do whether it's the beginning of the year beginning of the week beginning of the month whatever that thing is i need you to do it today 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 you need to have somebody who's accountable for you not responsible but accountable somebody who you can talk to to say hey hey, hey pull you by your coattails like yo you said you was going to do this maybe you need to have your child your tribe as your accountability like you put it up on social media yo i need y'all to hold me accountable because a lot of us because we ain't got no it don't hurt it don't hurt enough so because it don't hurt enough you ain't doing because it don't hurt enough you ain't moving like you know what i'm saying like i don't know who i'm i'm, I'm talking to this not but the holy spirit right here this not but yeah i don't even know your level of belief but i know who i believe in but what i'm saying 100%. is specifically it's somebody who is right here who is not making a move who is not making as far as the level of dedication in this space because you're creating excuses but then at the same time you're complaining you're complaining so when i ask i'm gonna challenge you go through go get let's get in the let's get into the mud and sometimes we got to get back into the mud so we can get it out again i'm jose <laughs> Black dude with a Spanish name. Look, don't text and drive. Drink lots of water. Wear your seatbelts. Get comfortable being uncomfortable. Love on one another. And remember that your brand, your content, your social media, your course is the only media that you control. And I always ask the question, how are you controlling the narrative? Y'all be blessed. Man, Dante, you already know. Let's get it. Yo, first of all, that outro was crazy. And number three, right, um, the tickets ain't expensive, y'all. Like, yeah, yeah. clearly we could charge $5,000 and above for this. You could go get your ticket for 300 and some dollars. Yeah. Yo, can I be honest with y'all? That don't even cover the cost of doing the whole event. Yeah, yeah. But I was like, yo, I want to do an event. I'm like, the virtual stuff is dope. Like, I love the but I'm an in-person person. And yeah, so I, yeah. I said, I want the people that really want to get in person with the people. I don't want to yep. be online. You and your, you want to show up when you want to show. No, get in the room and let's build in the room. Yeah. And so for yep. three hundred some dollars, you for three days, you 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 uh, you can't beat it. It you is. You can't beat it. it. Man. And, and you shouldn't even be thinking about price. You should be thinking about the opportunity that will happen while you're in the room with the people that you needed to be in the room with. See, Look. Jose. He said Jose in the room. He don't, don't got to speak at the events. Now he's just in the room. Right? <laughs> All and day. Like, Dang, that's smart. That's smart because you got to be around when a thing is happening. If you ain't around when a thing is happening, you in the world when nothing happens. And so you, uh -huh. you get discouraged. But you just don't got the courage to believe in self and show up. Yep. I don't care where you located. Get on the damn flight. Somebody the other day, Jose said, he said, oh, man, I'm coming. I'm coming. Should I do um? Uh, should I do VIP and coach, or should I do um, general and, and first class? I told them ain't nobody gonna see how you fly in, but they're gonna see what you positioned that in the room. Uh, uh, you yeah. See what I'm saying? Yeah. See, you worried yeah. about yeah. the wrong thing. Get your ass on a flight. I don't care if it's a Spirit flight, if it's a Delta flight, if it's some damn beat up Nike flight. Get your ass in the room. Get your ass in the room. Yep. And this ain't yep. one of them crazy rooms that's not going to give you value. Every single person is going to show you how to do the thing. And you don't have to take all of the elements. You just take the one that you need right now to get to the next level. Yep. The next level. So come at the word boot camp and make a promise to yourself, I'm going to do whatever it takes to elevate my business, myself, and my legacy. Come at the word Yo. boot camp now. And when you say you're going to do whatever it takes, it don't matter. I jump on flights last minute, same day. Yep. You know why? Because I need, I need it. I don't need to make no excuses. I'm from the project. My mama was a crack baby. I'd have been through too much already. You're right. Talk. I'd have been through too much already. See, everything I'm going through now is for the better. I'm, I'm stopping generational curses. But I have to realize that I'm the ultimate sacrifice, and I got to stay uncomfortable.
Hell, here's the crazy I'm part, right? I'm down there for the Boozy Banker event. Okay, okay. Shout out to the Boozy Banker event. Drive down there. <laughs> you go, go to both events. Go to both. See who you want to hear. See who you want to hear from at both events. And then document the process. Mm -hmm. You know why? Because that's going to show that you want this shit. Mm -hmm. That's going to show that you want this shit. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, you, you just said man. it. You just said it. And I always say, you know, we know obedience is better than sacrifice. Yet the sacrifice comes once you be in obedience. Mm. The sacrifice comes after you, like literally you gotta be in the space like, you know what? Okay. I right, you know what I I might not have it. I almost got it. But here's the thing about it, we got it for other stuff. Yeah. I, I look, it's for who it's supposed to be for. That's you, it. Ain't, you know, I don't do no sales. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Like, like, the value is enough. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it is what it is. It's like, yo, you're going to show up, you're not, you're going to wait. Cool. I always say value is based off of time saved, money saved, and money earned. Litter in that hierarchy. Why? Because my resource is time. So if I can save you some time versus you taking it 5, 10, 20 years to learn a thing, boom, that's value. Then can I save you some money? Because I just spent a lot of money. Don Taylor spent a lot of money. He was just at some joint suites. Yeah. He's like, yo, I spent that 25 on him. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> so, so saving my money, but then can it make me some money also? Yeah. Saving time, saving money, making money. Let's get it. Comment yeah, the word boot camp. Jose, man, no, you gave it to me. I'm sitting there. I have to shut up again. Yo, I shut up, muted my phone, and listen. When Jose speak, I shut up and listen. <laughs> Yo, facts. Yo, we I coming back, though. Yo, I, I can't lie to y'all, man. We, I'm never going to beg somebody to be in a room that I know they need to be in. So if you know it's for you, you just get in it. All you got to do is comment the word boot camp or go DM me the word boot camp. It don't matter. I want to see you there. And if I don't see you there, you will see us. You will see us and you will see the people that's in the room scaling and elevating while you stuck where you at. It All is. right, Jose. My Salute. looking for me now. I Let's go. Y'all. Let's go. Yeah.